Okay, so in this video, I want to introduce you to quartic inequalities. So as long as you know what quartic curves look like, okay, and have an understanding of that, then really this is just going to be a very quick and easy extension on cubics. Okay, so um, let's have a look at the first example. So this is going to work in exactly the same way. I'm going to first of all draw a diagram that shows my quartic. So we have a quartic that's going through minus 2, minus 3, 1, and 3 halves. Okay, now a quartic curve starts in the top left and works its way to the top right. And consequently, a positive one does, and consequently this is going to be crossing through the x-axis four times. Oh, whoops. Okay, so four times. So start in the top left to top right. Okay. So, we have um, minus 3, minus 2. We have 1 and 3 halves. So, where is the quartic curve below the x-axis? Well, it's below it in this region here and this region there. Okay? So in inequality form, we would be saying minus 3 is less than x is less than minus 2, or x is greater than 1 but less than 3 halves. Okay? Now you might be asked to write that in set notation, in which case we would be saying x belongs to the real numbers such that x is greater than minus 3 but less than minus 2, union x belongs to the real numbers such that x is greater than 1 but less than 3 halves. And in interval notation, we will be saying x belongs to minus 3 comma minus 2, so it's in that region, or it's in this region here. OK? Right. So let's take a look at the next example. So once again, this is going to be crossing through the x-axis four times, but because you've got this um, three takeaway x, so when you multiply it, you're going to get a minus x to the four. That means it now starts in the bottom left and works its way to the bottom right. Okay, so it's going to look like this. So what's where is it crossing? Uh, we've got 3, 2, 1 fifth, and 10. Okay, so 1 fifth is going to be first. Uh, we're going to have 2, then 3, and then 10. So where is the quartic curve below the x-axis? Well, it's below it there, there, and there. So we've now got three separate regions, and that means we can have three distinct inequalities. So we've got x is less than one fifth, or x is greater than two but less than three, or x is greater than ten. So in set notation, x belongs to the real numbers such that x is less than one fifth, Union, x belongs to the real numbers, such that x is greater than 2 but less than 3. Union, x belongs to the real numbers, such that x is greater than 10. And in interval notation, we would say x belongs to minus infinity to 1 fifth in curved brackets, because we're not including either. Union, 2, comma, 3 for that region there. Union, 10, comma, infinity for the last region. OK? And so that's how we can deal with uh, quartic inequalities. And we'll see some more examples in the next video.